Hi everyone, I have been asked if I can do this insects page here as a um, series for you. As you can see I have finished this page here which I did um, yesterday. It's not a video, I just did it myself, it's quite a simple one anyway. I uh, I did it all pink which is so unlike me but anyway let's crack on with this page um, I'm gonna make it into a long series doing each one at a time and I've decided to use my polychromos pencils now I know I've been using them a lot lately but they really are very good for this book and um, I just find that because of the small detail they are really useful so we've got I um, mainly butterflies but other insects as well on this page to do now I'm going to start doing the body of the butterfly and I tend to use a warm grey oops or a cold grey for that I'm going to use a warm grey we'll mix it up a little bit probably um, through the page um, this is the warm grey five and I'm going to start with this you're going to need to keep sharpening um, for these page for these um, creatures because they are small but uh, let's get on so I'm going to do these bits I'm never sure whether to colour them in or not or whether they're just a sort of turned over bit so do you know what I mean but I've decided to colour it in today and for the head I'm going to try to make it a little bit darker around the edge so I'm just putting a few more layers there and then a bit less in the middle. I quite like the idea of doing a few different shades, so I'm not going to do that bit. I'm going to do this bit, and then we'll do a slightly different shade of grey for the others, just to mix it up a bit, really. I'm not going to try and make this look like a real butterfly. I'm just going to have a go and uh, see what happens. Um, I do have a video, actually, about how I colour butterflies in Johanna Basford books, showing it's it's quite an old video but it's still sort of relevant and it basically shows um sorry just grabbing my next color cold gray three it i sort of flick through various pages in johanna's books showing how i've colored the different butterflies just to give you some ideas i'll um i'll put a link to it somewhere um in the description I'll put a link in the description so you can go and find it if you want some ideas because although this video will give you quite a few ideas as there's quite a few butterflies um, these are a little bit different and maybe a bit bigger I know they're not big they're a little bit bigger than some of the butterflies but I'll just write myself a note on in my book here to uh, link to it and uh, and then um, I'll put that in the description for you just in case you haven't seen it because I've got so many videos and I know not all of you started following me right from the beginning obviously um, now we're going to do this butterfly in sort of turquoisey colours I've decided um, I'm going to start with the cobalt turquoise and do a few sections with this now what I like to do with the butterfly is try to get it darker along the body and where the two wings touch because I feel there will be some shadow there what I'm going to do this time is although I'm going to do that a little bit so here I'm going to layer up my blue more my turquoise and then do it less as we come along here I will also try to remember <laughs> to put a bit of dark sepia along the edge there to show the shadow I may forget which is why I'm telling you now because you might want to do it and uh, if I forget you can shout at me but I won't hear you <laughs> so anyway let's um, just go over that a little there I'm going to do maybe three different shades of turquoise in these different sections it's not how I would always colour a butterfly but I figure um, it's one way we can do it now here I think I'm just going to do this way quite quite solid and you'll see why later so I'm just gonna oops go out of the lines no fill it in you don't have to go out the lines <laughs> just go through I'm getting close to finishing this book which is rather exciting I have to say I'm excited to show you um, the finished book really and to look through it myself but uh, this did a way to go really um, I'm going to do this bit as well, um, but I think probably a lot of us are coming to 
finishing. I think if you only have Johanna's books and only colour Johanna's books, then it wouldn't take that long to finish this one, really. Um, I think I'm going to leave that there. I might come back to it. This is the cobalt green. Oops, I rather like this colour. I'm going to use this one next. So I think I'm going to use it here first. I can hear my washing machine really loudly. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but it's okay. There we go. Um, where else should we go? Here. Again, try and be a little bit darker here and then taper off a bit with less layers. Like that and the same here. There we go. I hope everyone's good and ready for a new series. Um, I'm going to do this bit. I'm going to ignore the stripes. I'm just going to fill it in. Oops, I've gone over. Never mind. Um, well, it's spring is coming along. Hopefully that's um, helping people feel a little happier. I know a lot of people really like the warmer weather the spring flowers and things like that so that's always nice and we might even get to see some butterflies soon it takes a little bit warm effort before we see those isn't it um but uh i know it sort of brings a bit of a feeling of positivity somehow even though as you know i really dislike hot weather and for me i don't really like the spring i like the flowers i like the warmth in a way, I like not, um, so I don't really like the warmth to be honest, I'm quite happy with it being cold, but um, I am, um, yeah, I like the flowers and the, when the, when you look up on the hill on the spring day, the new sort of spring grass is such a beautiful green colour and all the trees, the spring greens are just so lovely, so I like all that, but the um, fact that summer is coming is not nice. But this summer, I will have a really long summer with my boys. They have um, a long holiday at uni. This is the light cobalt turquoise. You have to believe me. <laughs> they are um, going to fill in the gaps. Again, a bit darker here. Yeah, they get, um, they finish, I think, towards the end of May. I'm not exactly sure when. I think, um, let's do that one too. They have a few things due in. Um, after their lectures end, I think, and then they're um, they have a long summer off. I think they're off until end of September, something like that. Which is really long summer, which is nice. So I haven't planned anything, going anywhere or doing anything. Um, I think one of my sons is gonna sort of do some stuff towards driving. I think he might be doing his theory test at least. Um, and um, he might be trying to do his, he can do exams for Microsoft Word and Excel, so he might be doing some learning for that as well. Not sure about my other son um, yet. I think he's just getting through his uni stuff at the minute, not really planning. He has been saying about he wants to do some more streaming. Um, one of my boys streams regularly, but the other one doesn't really have time. This is black. So I think he's hoping in the holidays he'll have time to do a bit more. He does, um, he streams on, hmm, I'm trying to think of the name, Twitch, I think it is. I told someone once that it was Switch and he went, oh yeah. And uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know whether he didn't know this person I told. He was young, I thought, or whether he's just being very polite. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but they sort of, both of them, do similar um, sort of game, they play games and chatter while they play type things. But that suits me because if I'm recording and videos and things, editing or whatever, then it's they can be recording because it doesn't matter. You know, I can be in this room. I'm just going to grab my light cobalt turquoise and there's a few areas where I haven't gone right to the end. And although I sort of wanted to fade, I want to cover the white paper. That's my washing machine. 
I'm going to fix it in a minute. I'm just going to finish this because it's not going to take very long. I'm just going to grab my Payne's Grey and do a little bit of shadowing. You know I said <laughs> that I'd forget. Well, I haven't. So I'm thinking just along here, along the body, just put a little touch of it all the way along like that and on this side like that Oops. there and then under this wing and it sort of emphasizes where one wing ends and the other begins sort of thing and it's not going to show up very well where that black is but hopefully we can make that bit a bit longer there like that There we go. Oh, it's beeping again. I'm just going to put some white dots on and then I will be done. I'm sorry about the beeping. Here we go. My, I'm going to use my jelly roll. Um, I find my Posca just as good, but um, I don't have one in here. So I'm going to just put, try and make it symmetrical. Um, there are dots in other places too. But I'm going to leave them black because my white isn't going to show up very well on the blue. So I'm actually just going to leave it like that. So there he is. Um, all done. Doesn't take too long. But, um, you know, that's, uh, that, that's our first butterfly. So I hope that's okay. I hope you have a really lovely day. And come back tomorrow for number two. Thank you for watching. Happy colouring.